Wes Anderson's movies are known for their distinct style and aesthetic, from the color palette to the typography. Each detail is carefully chosen to create a unique visual experience. And this same attention to detail applies when it comes to designing a Wes Anderson movie poster in Adobe InDesign. Don't forget to subscribe to Envato Tits Plus for more free courses and tutorials. I'm Ashley Harrell, and in this tutorial, we will explore how to use these elements in order to create a poster that captures the essence of a Wes Anderson movie. From selecting fonts and colors that reflect his style to using typography techniques inspired by his work. Before we begin, make sure you check out Envato Elements. Get unlimited downloads of design assets, templates, and images like the one used in this tutorial. Subscribe now with the link in the description. First, we'll begin setting up the Wes Anderson movie poster in Adobe InDesign before moving to Photoshop to prepare the collage photos. First, go to File, New Document. Click on the Print tab. For this example, I will be using inches. Change the width to 27 and the height to 40. Make sure facing pages is unchecked. Set the margins to 1 inch, and the bleed will be 0 0.25 inches on each side, and click Create. Now go to your Layers panel, and on this first layer, we will rename it Background. Create a new layer and name it Signage Back. For this one, name it Type Behind. Name this one Lights. The next one should be Collage. And the last one will be Paper Texture. Lock all of these layers except Background, which will work on this one first. Now go to your Swatches panel and let's create some new swatches. For this blue color, we will use the values 67. 0, 32, and 0. For the next color, use 0, 43, 84, and 0, and name it orange. And then for the last color, use 72, 62, 61, and 76. Name this one off black. Now grab your rectangle tool and cover your entire page. Fill this one with the blue swatch. Now go to your Layers panel and we'll work on the Type Behind layer. Use the Type tool and create a large text frame. Type out the title of your poster using the font Union Made. I will change my size to about 350 points and center it and adjust the font color to off black. Now go to the bottom of your poster and here we're going to include some information like the name of the director and the movie release date. I will be using the font Arbor Vintage Extended. Now at the top of my poster, I will add some reviews. Using the same font that I used for the bottom of the poster, now here I'm just typing out like magnificent, a visual tree, and using asterisks for the stars. Now continue adding more information underneath the title of your movie.
Now go over to your Layers panel and we will work on the Lights layer. Grab your Type tool and then go over to your Glyphs panel. Change your font to Arbor Vintage Extended and select the Period Glyph. Change your font size to about 150 points. Go to Type Create Outlines. Change the color of this period to orange. You now have a single spotlight you can use to embellish your headline typography. Working on the lights layer, continuously copy and paste spotlights around the inside perimeter of each title letter. Now, let's go to the signage backs layer. Use your line tool to create double line bars behind each edge of each word. Make sure you set the stroke color to off black and the stroke width to around one point. This might be easier to do with the type behind layer temporarily switched off, so you can see it a little bit better. Now make sure you file save as your design. Now open up one of your images in Photoshop. Go to select subject to get rid of the background and mask it. Now go to image mode CMYK to convert your image to CMYK and go to image image size to make sure it's at 300 resolution and save your file as a TIFF. Open up another file and go to Select Subject, create a mask from it, and make sure it's in CMYK with the 300 resolution. Now let's add a channel mixer adjustment layer. Set it to monochrome, and play around with the values so that you can deepen the black and the contrast. Now let's add a hue and saturation layer. Change the preset to sepia. Change the saturation to 11 and convert it to a smart object. Now go to filter noise, add noise, and change the amount to 19, distribution, uniform, and monochromatic. And save your file as a TIFF. Continue this same process for all the other images. Select your collage layer in InDesign, and let's start placing our images. We're gonna place them more so in a pyramid type style. Now select all of your images and group them together. You can go to Object Group or Command G on your keyboard. Let's add a drop shadow. Change the layer to Multiply and the color to Blue. The distance should be 0 0.125 inches. The size should be 0 0.18 inches. The spread should be 5%. Noise should be 10%. Now select the paper texture layer. Grab your rectangle tool and cover your entire background. Now let's file place our paper texture. Rotate it and make sure it fills the background. Now let's change the transparency to multiply with an opacity of 75% and click OK. 
create another rectangle and this time we're going to place the film grain texture. Set the mode to screen with an opacity of 22%. Let's export your Wes Anderson poster for printing. Go to File, Export, and choose Press Quality. Click on Marks and Bleeds in the Windows left menu and check All Printers Marks and use Document Bleed Settings to export. It's really quick and easy to adapt the Wes Anderson movie poster you've created into a character poster. If you like to create a character version of the design, keep watching. Open this facade photo in Photoshop and choose Select Subject to isolate the building from its background. As we did earlier, use a channel mixer adjustment layer to switch the image to monochrome. Then use a photo filter adjustment. Save the image as a transparent TIFF. Now we're going to duplicate our original poster in InDesign and I'm going to get rid of our collage. I will also get rid of our blue background as well and fill it with our paper texture that we used earlier. Create a new swatch using 0, 32, 13, and 0. And now here I'm just changing around my poster since I am doing basically a main character poster, I will get rid of the reviews and just put the character's name at the very top. Create a new layer and name it Building. File, place the building that we just saved as a TIFF. File, place one of the photo subjects from the collage on page one Move the bottom lines of text so that it appears in front of our character and change the color to paper. And that's how you make a Wes Anderson poster in InDesign. So if you like this video and you would like to see more, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to click that little bell icon to be notified of any new videos. I'm Ashley Harrell, thanks for watching.